What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. Great to have you. Today we have a really exciting kiln unloading video that I want to show you. Uh, but first, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I want to give you a little update of what's going on in the studio. We have been super busy making tons of mugs this summer. We have our next restock, which is everything on this wall right here plus everything that comes out of the kiln. This is all new stuff that we threw today. This is all stuff that needs to be glazed that we'll be selling later in the summer or just throughout the year. This is where we take all of our pictures of everything. Some glazed stuff, some vases, got pots under there drying. And here's our kiln that we're gonna unload. Got a bisque that's half full we'll fill that up when we have enough pots for the rest got more pots to glaze so many pots on pots on pots all right let's do this thing okay so like i said everything in this kiln load is going to be for sale this sunday june 26th and then we're not gonna have another online restock for like until september so we have our event that you are invited to in august august 13th and 14th. Anyway, so we're gonna be preparing for that, so we won't have another online restock for a while. But I'm really excited about some of the stuff that's in here. Uh, we have a bunch of marble stuff, which I haven't done for a while, which is fun. We have coasters, which I haven't done in a while, which is exciting. These glass coasters. Decided I wanna start making more of these again. I just like, sometimes it's not in my everyday game to make these, but so glass, on there, just like glass that I get from the coffee shop, clear glass that we break up and get in there. And then what else is in there? Well, let's just open it and find out, right? Let's just do it. So we got a bunch of these. So have you guys could join me for my favorite part of the pottery process, the kiln unloading. So fun to see. We had none of these break. I would say normally if we do 10 coasters or 20 coasters, at least like two or three will break. And we didn't have any break on this one, so that's exciting. Haven't had marbled stuff for a second. So, very exciting to have. And this copper, ooh. And look at that handle. That's copper ore over winter wood. Let's do, and there's the other one, copper ore over sandstone. One of them is really matte. This one's really matte. And this one's really glossy. This one has a white inside versus copper, darker inside. So two of each of those, those look really good. This is probably making you feel sick to your stomach. Whew. Looks like, looks like a hot chocolate overflowed. Okay, other, uh, then I got a bunch of blue. So this is half marbled, half carved with Norse blue. What do you think? Just kind of a tester. Just kind of testing out new designs. Here's a marbled one that's kind of more carved. So it's, you can kind of see a little what's going on underneath the, with the layers revealing that. Like it? They're all slightly different. Little marbling going on there. And then more marbling going on here. Look at the handles. I'm loving the marbled handles. And I, I carve it out so that you can really see the layers of clay in there. So it's got a little texture, the handle does. Not quite as smooth as my normal ones, but, but I think it's worth it. That's pretty cool. Really cool, I like it. And this one, this one, some of these just turn out so good. Like that just, oh, look at that in there. The layers, just how tight those layers are. Really, they, they look, way better when they're finished than when you, right away when you throw them, you're kind of like, ah, are these gonna turn out good? And you throw a little clear glaze on there, put a little glaze on the inside that matches the color on the outside. Beautiful. Super happy with those. And then I did some, here's, this is raw clay, so there's no clear glaze on the outside, just red iron oxide coloring with Albany brown on the inside. So here, I've, it's, been a while, it's been a while since I've done these. Drippy blue over the, so this is what it is when it's raw clay without the clear glaze. I've really been doing a lot of more clear glazing on these mugs. So good. Yes, I love them. So clear glaze on this one, obviously. 
no clear glaze on this one so you get that like look of the drippy drippy glaze all right another one of those sweet oh, okay here was a tester so this is actually on b clay no so it's actually on buff stoneware but then i put colored bee clay on the outside of it. It's pretty interesting. It worked. What do you think? It's more like a brown and white. It's kind of cool. I can't, I can't really decide what I think about that yet. What do you think? So alabaster on the inside, which is basically like a whitish cream. Nice layering on the outside. Handle is awesome. Really happy so far. So far, so good. Some more of these. Norse blue on the inside. So some of them have the handle, the white handle, some of them have the carved handle, or like the marbled handle. Most of them are all really, lots of variations of blue. Nice. Cool. Another one. Another one of this, raw clay with the red iron oxide. Some people really don't like the feeling of like raw clay. I don't mind it at all, I think it's kind of cool. There's some more blue surf on the inside. Clear gloss on the outside with the carved marbled handle. Ooh, it's warm! Pot, these pots are still at 100 degrees. Oh, that's neat. That's a cool design. Sorry for this. Uh, so far, you're probably like, wow, this is a lot of the same mugs. Um, it is a lot of the same type of design mugs, for sure. Once you have that colored clay ready, it's easier to just make a bunch of them that are all pretty similar. Okay, and then here was a tester. This is dark green gloss on the inside and Aurora green on the outside. That Aurora green over those green glosses really almost looks the same. Like this looks like the same as it does on red, as it does on the blue. So I was just testing that out. Okay, last row, which I haven't told you about this yet, but my wife has a bachelorette party for her sister this weekend. And she wanted me to make, well, collaboratively together, we made tumblers for each of the women that will be at the party with their names on them. So like my wife's name is her, we call her EC. Her name is Elise, but we call her EC. So they all have names on them. EC, blue on the inside, winterwood on the outside. They all have the same color on the outside with different colors on the inside. She has been super eager to see them. But I said, no, you have to wait. I have to film it. Check it out. 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 Okay. So there are the tumblers. We got blue, red, purple, yellow, pink, green, purple, blue. They each have a different color that corresponds also to a towel. And I just shake my head like, okay, whatever you want. I can do that. She loves to plan the, so there's like Lauren, Lauren with pink on top. Pink inside. Ooh, that's got some pinholes in it, unfortunately. The coral sands over winter wood doesn't really work very well. Uh, purple, Julia, Anna, Lindsay, Maddie, KB, Allie, Ellen, Amanda, Paige, Carly. Okay, and then the last few things I have in here are some hand warmer mugs. These were for an order, custom order of somebody. One of these hand warming mugs. Boom. So I had a couple different styles of them. But I haven't done those in a while either. I'll have to whip those out again for, for this winter. Perfect. All right, well, there's a few issues on a few things, but otherwise, that was a good kill node. If you want to uh, get any of the marbled stuff, any of the stuff on the shelf, lots of great stuff for sale. This weekend, June 26th, Sunday night, um, we'll have we'll keep it up until, you know, for a while. But otherwise, I won't have anything available for a while. So, all right. I hope you are doing fantastic, having a great summer, and I will see you guys in the next video.